Good morning once again, JJ Builders and J Fammers. This is our last full day in Florida. So me and Jericho are gonna be taking a little walk. So this is our little... This is the Island Warriors Cove. This is where we've been staying. This is our actually our third room. Jericho, have you had a good time? Yeah. All right. And this little alcove here is the Fisherman's Cove. So all the houses, same basic design. Each house you see has two units on the left and the right. So they're not too bad. They got a queen size bed for the parents and they got a bunk bedroom for the kids, which is actually pretty cool. Fire hydrants are all nicely, neatly painted. I love it. Now, on the other side of this fence is a lake. And we haven't yet, but they say there are gators and snakes on the other side here. Alligators and snakes in area. Stay away from the water and do not feed them. We haven't seen any yet, but it'd be cool if we did. Yes, you heard me right, our third one. So our first room, 1054. A little bit of our fault was we brought some Dunkin' Donuts donuts in with us. And we had a little invasion of sugar ants. And then we went to 1074 and turns out, one of the CPVC pipes were cracked in the tub and was leaking all over our floor. And then we had this third room, which is great. And you know what? Mansions are more than accommodating each and every time. They've been great. Staff here is awesome. Whole atmosphere is awesome. Weather's near perfect. So our next cove, this one looks a little bit deeper, different color scheme. This is Shark Suit Guy's Cove. Now, we got to meet him a couple days ago, which was really, really fun. I was really, <laughs> I love that experience. So our second room was in the Ocean King's Cove. I did put up a YouTube short on that one. And we were right where that cart is. That was our second room. I don't know if they have it fixed by now or not, but that's where we were. Not a bad little court. It was right behind the lighthouse, which you can see just in the distance. So our first room was really, really close to everything. This one was pretty close. The third one, a little bit further out, but you know what? Still not too bad. And the weather, like I said, near perfect. First few days here, it was like 100 Fahrenheit or 40 something Celsius. Last couple of days has been more like 85, which I think works out to 30, maybe 35 Celsius, something like that. And here's the pool on the playground. So we're just gonna keep on going. So, we found a little treasure. Jericho, what'd you find? I found a Lego sword. Let's see. Ah, a treasure in the grass. Here you go, buddy. All right, you keep that as your souvenir for the trip, all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's something I wasn't expecting. Look at little snails going up the wall. This particular wall, there's probably like a dozen little, little tiny things, as you can see. So Jericho, so Jericho's gone back, a little uh, hot for him, but this was our first one. 
Seagull's Cove. Nice blue and green house. Ours was this last one here. Uh, we're on the left side, or as you're looking at it, or the right side of the building. That's the one that had the, uh, well, we brought the donuts in and the sugar ants went right for it. So it's kind of, I'll take the heat on that one. But like I said, management extremely accommodating within literally I called them within 20 minutes we had a new room so that was quite awesome and the next cove is sailors cove yellow and red not too bad well I don't really see a alligator but I do see a bird it's kind of chilling on the branches there not sure what he's doing just hanging out probably cooling off looking for something to eat and the last cove on my little lake sidewalk is the divers cove little blue and green now there is more housing deeper in but i don't know if i'm gonna go there I just came this way for the Gator Watch, which I have not seen. But we'll carry on and we'll see if I can see any more. Hey, J Farmers and JJ Builders. So I'm just uh, back at the cabin, just kind of hanging outside because uh, housekeeping, they come in once a day, you know, bed sheets, towels, and all that. Another good thing about the housekeeping, the kids get a couple apple juice boxes. We get a refill of any of the, there's a Keurig in there that we can have as much coffee as we want. And we get, a, each kid gets a poly bag of Lego. So we're just waiting for housekeeping to wrap up. And then we're probably going to hit out the target. Because quite frankly, I don't want to stay inside on this beautiful day in our last day here. So. so like I said, every time housekeeping comes, they make the bed, they leave poly bags. So Joey, he got a three-in-one creator puppy dog. And Jericho, he got... Ninjago Dragon's Rising Racer, it looks like. Not too bad. All right, everybody. So, what, uh, not wildlife, but housekeeping has come and gone. They've retired our room, refreshed our towels. Joey's feeling better. I'm feeling better. And today, we're gonna be going to Target on our final day here, just to see what it's like, look around. So Jericho's been bugging us for about two days to hit a Target, because he really wants to see what it's like. And here we are in the Target parking lot. And as you see in the distance, the Target. not too bad it's kind of like a Walmart style I know I know Target tried it in Canada but they just couldn't make it work but that's so bad as you can see we're in the clothing section right now we're gonna probably find the toy section at some point that's what uh, the kids really want to see so Jean has found she's looking at these things Nice shoes. Oh, never mind. Let's go to the So she's. <gasps> Mommy said, let's go to toys. What do you think, Jericho? Mm. Yeah, he's happy. Not too bad for clothing wise. Graphic tees, just like Walmart. Maybe we'll get some pull ups for the kids. You got Mickey. So here in the Lego aisle at 
target. We got a few larger sets. You've seen both of those at Legoland there. We got the custom car garage. We got a tow truck here, not Jericho. Not too far. Yo, come here, come here. Come here. We got car carrier, car transport. And Joey, what are you all excited about there? What are you all excited about there? This Captain Rex's Y-Wing. It's a micro fighter, but I might just get it from the character. Sweet. Try to get two. All right. So here's a few more mech suits. Looks like we have, what is this here? Ambush on Mandalore's Battle Pack. All right. I gotta see what, Jericho, let's go. What do we got, Jericho? It's so exciting. King Kong, the new empire. It says, try me, so try him. Where do we press the button, here? Try it. Oh, I think we need that, wait, where's the button? Oh, we have some more here. And we got a few more Godzilla stuff. We got Red Monkey, another Godzilla, and Kong himself. Oh, is that it? And that is it for Godzilla. So back in the Lego aisle, now that Jericho's, Jericho, what'd you pick up here? This he picked up the big Godzilla. This one's remote control. I can't wait to try this thing out. That looks awesome. Are you sure that they said Godzilla? So back here in the Lego aisle, we got some Animal Crossing, which I haven't seen at the park. Of course, we got a few of the gloves and um, helmets. Not bad of a section. Some heavy putter stuff. Only at Target. No, I see that at other places too. Oh, we got the Rebel Gunship. The unpopular one. We got the Lego Ant Crawler. Oh my god, it's an ATT. Finishing off here, got some Technic, a few UCS stuff, nothing really too like, oh my god-ish, but a few speed champions. So we have left Target, uh, Joey got a couple uh, battle packs of Captain Rex and his wiring, Jericho got an awesome Godzilla, and I got to scale the way our luggage. So win, win, win. So we're going to head back to the hotel to continue our final day here. So for our final meal, we thought about driving up the way to a buffet city, but we decided to stay here at the lighthouse. We're all a little on the tired side. So I'm going to go over to the lighthouse, have a nice dinner, finish our packing, and then probably go to bed and prepare for our travel day tomorrow. Joey's excited.